There are a number of other globalization indices out there, of course. And I think there are a couple of differences, though, between the DHL Global Connectedness Index and all the other ones. First of all, we're based on more up-to-date data. Second, other indices just track how much stuff crosses borders. We actually look at where it goes in addition to how much is crossing borders. This is critical to trying to understand, for instance, whether Germany's exports are increasingly directed at emerging economies or advanced economies. Third, our index is based on observed outcomes and hard data, whereas a lot of other indices fold in subjective impressions. Given what we know about how wrong subjective impressions can be, uh, we sort of are stick to the focus on looking at observables, things that we can measure, and actually come to somewhat different conclusions about the pattern of globalization over time than the other indices. Thus, uh, most of the other globalization indices out there, partly because of the weight that they put on subjective categories, entirely missed out on the notion that there was actually a big drop-off in globalization after the global financial crisis. And so the question is, would you want to use a globalization index that missed out on what many people regard as the single biggest setback to globalization in the last 50 years? Our index picked up on that drop. Most of the other ones did not. Mm -hmm.